Hello everyone, my name is Nuvola and welcome to another video. Today's video is an automatic bamboo farm. It's fully functional and it also looks good. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go! Here you can see the layout of the build. I've paused the frame here for a few seconds. And when we start, we start with placing some barrels. Place these in the middle of the long sides. You want to face three hoppers facing into the barrel. In the end, it should look like this. On top of these hoppers, we're going to place rails. But in order to do that, we need to make sure that the rails can actually go all the way around. So we're gonna place some stripped spruce wood and some stone bricks in the corners. Once you've done that, you can place the powered rails on top of the hoppers. To make the turns, we're going to place normal rails. We want to connect everything up. In the end, the rail should go all the way around looking like this. After that, we're going to place redstone blocks next to the rails. They should not be next to the hopper, because then they will lock the hopper. You can then place your hopper minecart, give it a little push and it will go around for basically forever. Time to start with the base of the tower. Make a shape using stone bricks like this around the barrel. Make sure that you place either grass blocks or dirt blocks, it doesn't really matter, at the corner right here. Do this for all four sides of the tower. Once you've been all the way around, go up one level, place three grass blocks on top of the rails, also on all four sides. These are the blocks where your bamboo will grow on. Fill in the corners using some stone bricks. Make sure that you light up the inside, because we're now going to cover up the rail system. You can use stone bricks for this, or pretty much any block you want. You can also use dirt if you have a lot of dirt. Behind the grass blocks we're going to build another platform, one level higher. On top of these stone bricks we're going to place pistons facing outwards. In between all of the pistons, we're going to place stone bricks with redstone dust on top. You can fill in the corners using some stone bricks to make it a square. Next, we want to pillar up 8 blocks. These are temporary. Because what we're going to do, is we're going to face an observer into the top dirt block. And we're gonna make our way down, all the way down to the redstone dust. So in total, that will mean you need 7 observers. They should all be facing upwards. When you remove the final dirt block on top of the top observer, you will notice that it will trigger the pistons downstairs. This is exactly what we want. Around this top observer, you want to place stone bricks with redstone dust on top. Around this top platform, you want to create a ring of temporary blocks. Whoop, that's a small glitch. 
and you want to face observers next to these temporary blocks, like this, because these will trigger the redstone dust and therefore trigger the observers, which will then trigger the pistons downstairs. Each observer should trigger the pistons. When the bamboo grows in front of this observer, it will then trigger the pistons downstairs and thus breaking the bamboo. You can then place your bamboo and that pretty much makes your farm functional. In order for it to have a higher output, so that's more bamboo per hour, we want to create a tower around it so that all the bamboo is caught by the hopper minecart. Start by making a tower on top of the pistons and fill in all four walls. I only filmed one side, but you can copy this to all sides. Create two pillars of stripped spruce wood next to the grass blocks where your bamboo is on. In order for the bamboo to grow it will need some light so you can place a glowstone block in the wall behind the bamboo. In between the stripped spruce pillars you want to place mossy cobblestone walls. Then at the base of the tower grab some stone brick stairs and place these in front of the grass block. Then place a spruce trapdoor and a spruce stair on the side of it. In front of the bamboo we will now also create a wall, three blocks wide all the way to the top. To add a little more detail you can replace some of the stone brick blocks by natural stone blocks. This will give it a more natural look. Do this on all four sides. Time to work on the top of the tower. Start by creating a ring around the tower using your stone blocks. In the end it should look like this. Underneath this ring of stone you want to place stone stairs and stone slabs on these locations. Mix up the natural stone and the stone bricks for extra detail. You want to build up one level higher from these stone blocks. Then on the sides you want to place outward facing stairs like this. want to place stone slabs on the diagonal spots, like this. You can then fill in the floor using spruce slabs and make sure that it's the lower level so mobs cannot spawn on these blocks. And to prevent all mob spawns on top of the tower, you can actually place some lanterns to light it up. You can also use torches if you want. Time to make this tower look a little bit more alive. Start by placing an oak trapdoor in front of the barrel, which will hold your output. Then, remove the fifth and sixth block from the ground up, and place spruce fences inside to create a window. Decorate the window using some oak trapdoors, a leaf in front of it, surrounded by some spruce signs. Place a spruce fence gate in front of the top spruce fence, place a campfire on top and use your shovel to extinguish it. There's your window. You want to create another window on top of that one, but you want to make sure that it's not in front of the light source, because this won't look nice from the outside. 
If your tower is just as tall as mine, then the top of your window should be two blocks below the top of the tower. You want to create these windows on all four sides of the tower. Once you've done that, you can grab some more bamboo and place these on the grass blocks next to the stripped spruce pillars. Below the top of the tower you can place some lanterns for extra light. And you can grab some extra leaves to grow down from the top of the tower. Finally, you can grab some vines to give it a more overgrown look. And that's actually it. You're done! Now if you leave this running for a while, you will start seeing bamboo pouring in on all four sides of the tower. Each barrel will contain about the same amount of bamboo, as long as you didn't grab anything from it yet. And trust me, this will give you more than enough bamboo for your survival world. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the build. Uh, leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if it can help you out with any questions you have. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Cheers everyone.